Hello everyone. In this series, we are gonna have a look at the new reporting feature uh, released in the Click Cloud. Um, it's not gonna be just one video. I thought to make a one video, but it's gonna be very, very long. And there are a lot of features to be covered. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with a um, couple of videos and over the course of a week or so, uh, I'm gonna add a lot of contents related to that and the different features. But in this video, I'm gonna have a, a a high level overview so that uh, you can understand what's going on in here and uh, also you can um, go through the other videos that are coming up on the way so what this reporting feature is uh, some of you are very familiar with the end printing feature of click sense or click view which were in um, older versions on further on premise so it's very familiar similar to that and uh, those who you don't it's like you know sending the reports uh, in Excel format uh, to the end users uh, rather who do not have access to click or even if they have the access to click so sending them some reports uh, in the in their inbox while doing that we use click um, Excel's format and uh, when we use Excel format it enables us to use some of the Excel's native functionality such as pivot chart pivot tables formulas and uh, formatting as well as so it can further you know if you are an Excel wizard or Excel guru or an Excel expert you can do wonders with this particular format so uh, there are a lot of things to be done before we get started just to get started so I will just um, go through those uh, requirements so first you need to uh, on, uh, enable the this reporting on your cloud tenant after that you need to have that in your Excel that um, there will be a add-on created you need to add up, upload that add-on on your Excel once you do that you will be able to connect the tenant with the Excel uh, then you create a template after creating the template the next step would be uploading the template once you upload the template then you will be uh, able to generate a task to send the reports but in order to send the report you need two things you need a distribution list whom you want to send this report and secondly you need to have SMTP email server configured on your email uh, on your cloud tenant uh, so that you can send down the emails uh, there is another way to do that you can configure um, uh, SharePoint folder connection so you, there you can send the uh, report etc as well there is on top of that, uh, there are some additional things that will go on. You might apply filters or second accesses around that. Uh, so we're going to have the overview of that. And then uh, we're going to have some detail on the templates, how we're going to uh, work on the Excel templates, so how you can enhance, how you can create more charts, etc. Uh, to start with, my first few videos would be just about the setup and sending the reports, you know, just send the report. That's it. That will be the, my... Um, first couple of videos will be about and then future onward further onward we're gonna talk about how you can uh, create um, those templates we're gonna have enhanced those templates so uh, in this video uh, I'm gonna just start stop here and uh, stay tuned for more videos I'm just gonna be on the way